The nation's growing energy demand is not sustainable in the face of some pretty clear scientific evidence global warming is real and an imminent threat that is already playing itself out. As president, I would point to a series of models we researched nationwide that, if practiced along a wide spectrum, would exponentially decrease our energy demand. For instance, in Deming, New Mexico, we learned about the Southwest Sustainability Project. Home insulation is assessed and improved, and renewable energy options are proposed. In Houghton, Michigan, we looked at a home that had a $17 heating bill for January with geothermal heating. At Old Orchard Beach, Maine, we looked at a wave action energy harvesting project where one piston buoy apparatus powered 400 homes. In Manchester, Michigan, we looked at an award-winning zero energy home that used active and passive solar applications. And the list goes on. As president, not only would I tout these, but in the short term, I would provide government incentives to adopt them. After a while, these incentives could be rolled back once people started developing an eternal ethos that these kinds of things are simply the right thing to do if we want to ensure our children have a world to grow up in.